guess what? We just got new information about E3 and Microsoft stuff. Okay, so new user from NeoGAF, nicknamed Brawler, easily confused with Balder from God of War, but we'll touch on that later. What we have to touch on now is that chances are around E3, Phil Spencer is going to be telling us all about everything we need to know about Xbox Scarlet, Lockhart, Anaconda, everything like that. It's going to be giving us all the info we need about that. All of these have a high probability of happening. First one on the list is Outer Worlds. While this is considered a leak and needs to be taken with a grain of salt, Outer Worlds is for sure going to happen. I know that because that was one of the things I was touched on by Take-Two Interactive during their last investment call. So that one, right out of the gate, something you can look forward to. Out of the Outer Worlds happening 2019, period. Next one up, Cyberpunk 2077. Gameplay trailer and release window. So that said, we, we probably still have to wait till like 2025 for this thing. Because, you know, it's been in development for like ever. And we've seen a thousand different trailers for it. But, you know, it, it's still probably coming out at some point. We also got Halo Infinite coming out with a new trailer and holiday 2020 release date. So that being said, it may be a cross-gen title simply because holiday 2020 is also when we have, have a strong belief that the next generation of systems is incoming. Next up, we've got Gears of War 5 with a full gameplay reveal and a September release date. So that said, it is coming out this year, this September 2019. We also have Gears Tactics, that mobile Gears of War game everybody was like, Nah, about. And then, of course, we have Bleeding Edge and Age of Vampires and a Fable reboot. Because, of course, who doesn't need any more RPGs in their life? Of course, Microsoft information will not be complete without information about the X Cloud. If you did, if you aren't already aware, X Cloud is the video game streaming service that would essentially compete with the PlayStation Now. That's the easiest way I can I can compare the two. Either that or I could describe it as the Netflix Netflix for Microsoft games. Enough said. We also have a little bit new a little bit of new content that, that is going to be brought out for Sea of Thieves debuted in this E3 presentation. And then of course these ones have a slightly lower chance of happening but still likely to happen uh, we have forza motorsport so it may be mo it may be motorsport 8 or horizons 5 but motorsport 8 is likely the true thing that's going to come out we also have possibly a new capcom game which could be even which might be either Resident Evil 3 or a new Dino Crisis game. That up in the air. As far as what it would be if Capcom even debuts a game would be up in the air. We also have Mech Assault and some other Japanese developer games. These ones only have a, a smaller chance of being talked about. They are the Perfect Dark reboot and some game studios acquisition. So last year, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but they one of the things that they talked about was a few new studios that they brought under their wing last year. One of them in particular was Ninja Studios, the, the, the development studio that brought to you Sekiro, or no, not Sekiro, but um, Senwa, Hellblade Senwa Sacrifice. That is their chief achievement right now. Hellblade. If you haven't got a chance to try it out, you really should. Gameplay, amazing. Re really forces you to actually think outside of the box a little bit. Uh, that's about it for this video, I think. Been rambling on quite a bit, less than five minutes, but still long time for the same story. So if you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.